I've been animating a music video for my band Lorenzo's Music in Blender uh, because I wanted to learn how to use Blender. So th I thought this was a great opportunity to do it. But in a previous video, I was having a super annoying problem with it, and it had to do with the sound. It kept crapping out on me. And see, now there it goes. Now the sound is gone. So now I'm scrolling through and the sound has disappeared. This is what happens. So even if I play it, now I'm playing it and there's no sound. The sound disappears and I have to reboot it so that it will work again as I'm scrolling through. And when I reboot, sometimes it catches, sometimes it doesn't. It only takes a second to do it, but it's a really annoying feature or flaw that happens as I'm going through this with the audio sound. And it makes it hard because I'm animating the mouth. It has to go along with the sound. Uh, so that part's frustrating. I actually got a lot of really good uh, comments and emails and messages sent to me trying to help me fix it, which I thought was really cool. Um, I'm going to take a look at what finally worked and why it's specific to Blender on Linux in particular. Okay, so this is uh, one of the final scenes that I'm editing. I'm almost done at the time I'm recording this. I'm on like the last couple of scenes for it. I've been releasing the video one line at a time as I've been animating these, so that way I can kind of chunk it up into parts, and I've been releasing them as YouTube shorts. So here is the video itself. This is the scene that I'm doing. So that's the segment that I'm doing right now. That's the squeak. I've been calling him the pencil sketch man or whatever for obvious reasons because he looks like a pencil pencil sketch. So first, let me get into the problem that I was having with the sound. What Now, when I played this, normally what would happen is as it looped around like one more time, the sound would either start not matching up and then it would drop out completely. And a lot of it would happen while I was doing the mouth movements. So if I was going through scene by scene to animate the mouth, which is how I was doing it on the side was uh, these mouths over here, pre-drawn, pre-drawn, pre-drawn. And then I would drag them into place and then move them over for each mouth movement. Now, as I was doing this, I would listen frame by frame to it. And this is really where it started happening is I would lose the sound as I was going through here. But now it's matching up. And it's, even though you're hearing it like, that's the way it would sound. I'd listen to it in my headphones and you hear it one frame at a time and I'd go, there's the open mouth. I would animate it that way. So I would lose it. I'd have to turn it off, restart it again, and it would catch up again. Now, people had mentioned, mentioned to me in the comments and through messages, they saw the video and they'd go, one of the things over here I should do is in the playback, which is this drop down over here is turn on scrubbing. Well, I had that on and that's how I was going through. That's so you can actually drag this and the sound will go along with the playhead. I had that on, it was a good suggestion. Then another thing was uh, the type of frame rate that I had, uh, the type of video codec I was using, the quality that I was using. Another person mentioned that I should set the sound preferences in the settings. So up here on the preferences, I'd gone and looked for sound, it's in the system. And in sound, what I originally had was, I had all this set up the way that it is, except for, and here's how to fix it. It's a Linux, Linux specific issue, because uh, I think I also mentioned in the previous video, the band records in open source software. We use Linux, we use all kinds of open source material. We don't do anything on proprietary stuff. And that's why I wanted to use Blender. Well, one of the things that Linux has, which we're using Ubuntu Studio for our operating system, by default, it uses Pulse Audio. And Pulse Audio, which is the default audio device for Linux, is known to have tons of problems playing nice with other stuff. And I had it set on Pulse Audio because I'm like, well, that's the sound system. That's what it is. So when somebody mentioned I should look at the preferences, I went through all these, switched them, nothing happened. And I'm like, you know, what is one of the other audio devices that are in here and I switched it to open AL which is an open source audio device that was built into blender and it worked it's I, it's been smooth it actually when I do the sound scrubbing frame by frame it's actually 
it's even better than it was before. I've had no problems with it so far. It was just one, and, and this is what I always say. It happens when we work with our doer or any of the other programs we have when you're trying to figure something out or something's going wrong. It's always some stupid checkbox or drop down somewhere hidden in the software that will fix everything. And if you just look around, it's hidden somewhere and you can find it and that's how we fixed it. So that's how um, I fixed the Blender sound issue that I had where it would just drop the sound completely when I'm using Blender on Linux. So there's the answer to that. And I was, thank you to everybody who gave me, at least pushed me in the right direction to figure this out. That's what caused it. Anyway, so aside from that problem that I was having that was driving me nuts, uh, I've really been enjoying using this program. I've been enjoying the video. It's, it's very much, or at least I've set it up very much the way that I used to do Flash. And here's something that it does that's 10 times better than any other Audio. And it's just such a simple thing, but it really helps with just easy animation or changes like in the head. And this scene in particular here, the, the pencil sketch man gets ready to yell again and he, his head squashes and then pops up to yell even louder. This part right here. So to do that, I didn't even have to animate. I have this pre-drawn head. I have the mouth and eyes and everything like that on their own layers by themselves. I unlocked all of those. And there is, uh, in edit mode over here, I switched to the sculpt mode and I set it up on the push module and I set the module really big as you'll see by this big ring here. And all I have to do is I'll set a frame here where I'll squash his head. And then in the next frame, I go up a few frames and then I can pull his head back up again. And now all of a sudden his head is all stretched out. Here's the scene where I originally did it and then the one that I just did. <laughs> and I re it's just such an easy squash and stretch thing to add for animation and I used it several times throughout this video and it was really it was a really handy tool to discover and it's 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 a simple thing but it comes in so handy and even if I did it extreme here but I did it very slight in other places. I mean a lot of the other time what I'll do is I'll be in uh, edit mode and I'll just grab like this section right here and then move it over like that in a frame and then move over a couple more frames and then grab that again and move it over here. Of course, that's not how I'm gonna animate it. I'm just showing an extreme version so you can see what I'm saying. I just love that I ruined the animation right now, but I've already rendered it, so it's fine. 